My story today made national headlines five years ago and is still dividing a small town in Nebraska. A 22-year-old man married a 14-year-old girl. I went to take my um, daughter, Crystal, to get her dress fitted for her eighth grade graduation and I asked her if she was pregnant because I seen the stretch marks. Two days from my 14th birthday, I got pregnant. Oh, I was kind of upset at first, but they were 11. I think marriage was the right thing. He was arrested for sexual assault of a child. When it hit the headlines, it was literally everywhere. A man who made national news when he was accused of impregnating and marrying a 14-year-old girl pled guilty to first-degree sexual assault today. When you were actually going through it, you're getting married, she's 14, were, were thoughts going through your head saying, this is wrong? Not at the time. Not at the time. Looking back now. Looking back now, after everything that's gone on, I do realize it was wrong. It was probably really something that we shouldn't have done. I regret it, you know, to, to this day that it, was, that it was wrong. Everyone gets married and falls in love when they do. Some guy could come in and start dating my daughter. So what's the difference of her saying, yeah, Dad, at, at 9 or 10 years old, I want to have sex? That was, that's too young. Why is that too young and 12-year-old isn't too young? A 12-year-old's more mature than a 10-year-old. You signed for your daughter to get married um, when she was 14 years old. Yes. And what made, what led you to make that decision? Uh, she was already pregnant. She was pregnant? She was pregnant. You didn't think of any other uh, alternatives to getting married? Maybe not like, just... Like what? Not getting married? <laughs> like just, what? And she tells you she's pregnant, and your reaction is what? Yeah, first, yeah, I wanted him to go to jail, but not to prison. Will you have any issue if a 20-year-old man starts sleeping with your 12-year-old granddaughter? I am, but I'm just a grandparent. Okay, so as a grandparent, you couldn't do anything? Parents, well, I'm just asking you, as a grandparent, you couldn't do anything? Like what? If I beat his ass, I'd get put in well, jail for it, so... Well, obviously, you don't have a clue because you couldn't even stop your own 14-year-old daughter from... I don't know who's crazier, the mother or the daughter. Yeah. I also think that if this is the legacy that you want to perpetuate in your family, you can do that. She's, she has an excuse and a reason for everything, but I guarantee you, in 10 years, you'll be back up here with a DNA test for your daughter. She said at 12 years old, she was real mature, but you're 19 now, we all can see how immature you really are. Did the thought ever come into your mind, um, let's wait till you're 18, till you're an adult, until you get married? Any thought along those grounds? Yeah, we work my way, but they want to get married. Don't you make tough decisions for your children, whether they like it or not, so that you get the best out of them, so you make life the easiest, so they're not in a position where life is difficult and life is hard? I guess you got nothing to say to that. No. <laughs> this is why things like this happen. Yes. What was that? I don't know. Is this, is that I ain't the one with all the answers. You do, obviously. I, you know what? You know what? I have answers. I have answers when it comes to my children. You ask me anything about my children, I got answers. Yes. Damn right. Damn. You should applaud me, because if you had any of me inside you, you wouldn't be in this situation. You wouldn't be standing yes. on my stage.